Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, these are my hockey pants, and there used to be a clip that went in here. It is gone, so we're going to make a fastener for this webbing so that we can actually keep those the way they need to be. Friends, we're going to make a friction strap lock to fix the issue I have with my hockey pants. Check out how quick we can whip one of these up. Of course we're going to start with create 3d design the first thing i'm going to do is name it this is going to be called slip lock and then i did measure that strap and it was about 20 centimeters friends we're going to build with the cube and i'm going to tell you we want a radius of three i'm also going to tell you that you've got to type these numbers if you stretch the handles you lose that radius so it's going to be 310 and then for my strap I'm going to choose 24 and 24 and I'm going to choose 6 for the height. That gives me the rounded shape I want for my little slip lock. Real quickly I will show you once again if we had held this, stretched it, typed the 24 and press enter, made this the 6 and pressed enter. And then if we put in our radius of 3 notice you get a totally different kind of rounded edge so if you want it to stay make sure you type your numbers like we did over there i'm going to hit delete on the one i don't want and it's time to cut in the little holes i'm going to do that by just taking this shape and doing Control d and i'm going to shift rotate to stand it up so this is going to be the shape of the hole of course i need to switch it to be a hole and once again, I'm going to change the numbers. This time, I'm going to change it to 20. So that makes it so it's shorter. And now that I've rotated it, I'm going to take this height and I'm going to make it 8. Notice that really changes the width of this. So once again, this is just going to be in here and we're going to have two of these. Right now, I'm going to do Control D. And I'm just going to nudge them so they're a little bit apart. Now I'm going to shift select those two and I'm going to group them. Now before I group these, notice when I check this, it's size 22. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to stretch it out till it says 24. I'm going to select that all. Let's do L for a line and I want to choose middle and middle. Of course, now we can simply group it. And our main part is built. We do need to add the friction. Check this out. We're going to do that by searching for something called grid. We want to use the one called an extrusion grid. We are going to make the size as small as we can, typing 1. I'm going to make them 30 long so I'm sure that they go all the way across. We're going to change the columns to 8. And we're going to change the spacing to 2 so that there's a small gap in between them. And we want exactly one row. We're going to turn this into a hole. And then we need to lay it down. So I'm going to do shift rotate. That's awesome because notice it only takes two rotations to get it. So it's the way we want. Press D to drop. Now we do want this to be about half that size. So I'm going to hold it and see how it says 15. I'm going to shift squeeze and get it all the way down to seven and a half. And then I'll just restretch it out so it's nice and long. Friends, this is the piece of friction that we're going to cut in down below. I'm going to do Control D and move it to the other side. And then I'm also going to do Control D again. And this time I'm going to put the work plane up on top of our buckle. Do D to drop it. And I want that to be in the middle. I'm just going to move it like this. You don't have to line it up perfect, but you do need to sink it in. I'm going to switch to my 0.25 nudge and I'm going to do control down so it cuts in like that. You can arrange this however you want. You can get it as perfect as you want. I am just trying to fix my hockey pants so I am not going to worry about perfect. I'm going to just select it all and do control G. Friends, right there is an instant slip lock in Tinkercad, just like you'd be spending money for right here. Save it as an STL and send it to the 3D printer. All right, everybody, there you have it. Buckle in use.
How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I just want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. And then below that, you can find my day one favorites and also useful starters. And then finally, the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, also at the bottom corner, I want to share the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, don't forget the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day